here some Stussy Fall Winter 2023 shit because I haven't actually checked through this. This is courtesy of their um, Fall 2023 lookbook via the site. I'm sure most of it is already available because some of it already dropped, as you can see here, on August 18th. But there is a lookbook here for Stussy Fall 2023. I feel like Stussy, similar to Supreme, do a good job nowadays of just churning out you know, at minimum, seven out of 10 collections. I think Stussy in the last few years, actually, has probably surpassed Supreme in terms of their consistency and levels of their actual collections. They're actually better. And I feel like nowadays, especially, that's why I had a lot of sympathy for Terrain and his plight. I feel like it's very difficult if you're a Supreme designer to get the kids to actually spend their money with you because they've got so many brands now they could kind of spend their money with. So the competition is fucking crazy. So these legacy brands like Stussy are still doing bits. These little Instagram brands are still doing bits and shit. Then you've got all the local brands still doing bits. It's hard to compete for the dollar when everybody's fucking doing bits. But anyway, that being said, looking at what I see here, I love this ensemble. This good little, you know, I love a good top and bottom. You know me, and I love, love a good top and bottom, especially with some nice little prints here. This looks really beautiful. The camo cargos are decent. Check it, I'm not really too fond of. These shorts are great. These fleece shorts with this kind of lava-esque um, pattern on them look really cool. I also like the Air Max Pluses. I'm not too sure if they're a collaboration to TNs. And you've got Stussy socks. Ooh, Stussy socks that say Stussy. It, at the front and the back. Yeah, I, I'm for that. Um, I like this uh, vest. It's really cool. The pants, the shape on those pants is fucking phenomenal, actually. They rest really well. The hoodie with the script logo on the hood is nice. So is this sweatshirt or the sweater, sorry. The pants are really cool, too. Dr. Mines, I'm not really too bothered about it. Oh, this, this down jacket is beautiful in the lime green. Yeah, that's me all over. That, that, that neon jacket here is me all over. I'm looking, I'm looking for you. I guess it's the same jacket. It also comes in blue. Nice to see there with an odd red lining. That whole look I'd wear that every single day if needed. There's also a nice little down jacket in purple here. It's a different design. A nice little snakeskin print and pan pan pants there. The cars next to them in the lookbook are really cool as well. Some nice taste in some Jeeps here. I'm seeing some good trucks overshirt here is pretty decent but again this is giving undercover cop so i'm not really too fond of these the snake skin top to go with the pants is really nice as is the pants the styling is really good too whoever styles these lookbooks you deserve a round of applause please continuously you style these things really well i love how they always resist the urge to have everything matching sometimes they break it up you know what i mean i think that's a nice little touch and obviously the models always look really fucking cool these double knee pants are fucking amazing as is the denim top baseball jacket is fine but the numbers on the front is a bit too much for me uh, oh look at the cars you got a bmw here you got a muscle car like fuck me the cars in these lookbook are beautiful also um Oh, I love the vest, actually. It's giving church, but I like it. Also, this hoodie, this jumper is nah, not, too, not too fond of this look, actually, with the jumper. I'll pass on that. The dice is pretty cool logo. I'm sure the kids are going to be all over this because the kids on TikTok fucking love the Stussy dice logo. They fucking love it. And the Lucky 8-Ball as well. They fucking love all that shit. This fleece vest is beautiful, as are the shorts. I love the boots. The Fireman S boots look like Red Wings. I've got a couple of pair of those I haven't worn yet still. I was on my Kanye thing with them. Um, the dyed, uh, the tie-dyed cable knitter sweatshirt is really nice as well. Cable knit jumper is decent. The Dice logo bomber jacket is okay. I like the lava fleece. That I think is already sold out actually. This cardigan's really nice, but it's giving, um, the cardigan's giving fucking awesome. It's giving Jason Dill this cardigan, but I do like it. Look at the cars, man. The cars are beautiful in this thing. I'm sure that's a BM. I'm pretty sure that's a BMW. I may be mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's a BMW. Um, I like that this quilted shirt jacket thing is pretty decent. Nice mesh net there. Eight ball. Good job. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This this actually looks a little bit like... um, What's her name? This looks a bit like Vashti, isn't it? This is giving Vashti. Or um, what's his face? Or ASAP Ferg's girlfriend. I forgot her name. She's a photographer. It's kind of like something that she would wear in it. It's like tomboy chic. I kind of like this. Really look, really look, it's good. 
the styling in, on the Stussy lookbooks is always fantastic. You got some old school Jeeps and Land Rovers here in the background too. This a uh, pile fleece type of overshirt thing is also really cool. This uh, surf logo mesh football jersey is brilliant. As is this shirt jacket too. Oh, it's all too, it's all too much good shit here. Too much good shit as you can tell as I'm scrolling through. It's all there. All amazing. Oh cool, they, they got the styling name now, the person. So big up Michael Martin Del Campo. You are an amazing stylist. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it, my friend. Because you make these fucking lookbooks pop. And of course, photographer Leah McRae and models Deja and Tosh and Nas. Big up them. I'm lucky Stussy for 2023. 